welcome to Between Plays. All right, so let's do a little bit of Cloud MD. It's been a while. We haven't done some Cloud MD, so I'm thinking that uh, we should get on it. I've been getting a lot of questions about Cloud MD, like what do you think, what's going on, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's just start everything off actually by uh, clicking the subscribe and link button over here, down below. Take two seconds of your time and do that. And um, let's move on. Okay, so Cloud MD. You know, there's nothing changed with CloudMD. Like I, I've been saying it, I've been saying it. People ask me, are you still in it? Are you still, yeah, I, you know, there's a technique, you know, you should always be thinking technique, 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 all right? I have a household here that naturally, uh, my wife has a TFSA account. She's allowed to make investments. She's allowed to do stuff. I'm allowed to do my own stuff, right? So when, you think about it, well, I can diversify plays as a family. So naturally, I am massively, massively overweight in cruise lines and in airlines. I am, I completely believe that there's gonna be an, an injection, an adrenaline of money from people that are gonna wanna go and they're gonna wanna leave. Now, people are gonna say, yeah, well, that could be like in July, you know? That could be in uh, August. Uh, it's going to be a while now, whatever. Yeah, but that's not entirely how the human race thinks, right? People want to get into things before it gets up there, all right? Now, let's just take a look at this. CUK has been fluctuating between basically $20.80, let's just say, to $25. When has that been happening for CUK, which is Carnival Cruise Lines, but it's the one on the market uh, that um, fluctuates. Uh, it's on the New York Stock Exchange, but it's more representative of a UK um, uh, environment or whatever, but it flows exactly like CCL. Well, we can say CCL between 25, let's just say, and 30. You know, um, Royal Caribbean is very, very, very much a company that that, that you could drop real fast and go real up. So let's say, you know, between 80 and $99. I mean, it went to $99, right? And actually, if I could time the market, I would have been out, go back in. Now let's get back to CloudMD, all right? So I am really, really, my TFSA account and my retirement account is basically my whole account is, um, uh, Carnival Cruise Lines, Royal Caribbean, uh, American Airlines. This is what it is right now. It's it's just just teeming teeming with that. And um, I might actually diversify into Air Canada because it seems like it, they're pretty uh, volatile as well. Um, now, I have Quest uh, in my, my cash account because uh, I have no more room anywhere else to put it. And I have um, Suncor in my cash account, Neolithium. Uh, that's got a small portion in um, my TFSA, actually, um, because it's it's so low that I just, I'm not gonna take it out. Um, well, CloudMD the same, it's just that I had the, the profits that came with it at a certain point to put overweight into my other stocks. But basically, my wife went and bought in um, the amount of shares that, that I had. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a team play. It's a team play. Um, why, would I, why would I do that? Well, because I really believe that if, I'm sorry, I don't like the word, use the word, word. I've used the word if a lot, okay, even in the past. Um, I like to correct that. But at the same time, I gotta use the word if in this, in this situation, all right? So, if CloudMD gets Quebec, I really believe it's not an issue to get Alberta. All right, so I ain't gonna bother. It's, it's, they just have to pick up footprint clinics, open up their app, and they're done. It seems like something in Quebec is a lot more different because no one has Quebec. No one has Quebec at all. Um, Dialogue just went out and they went, I think they're IPOing between $9 and $12. They are a health company, but like, listen, we, we have dialogue through our insurance company. We didn't even, you know, it just, it just came 
with uh, the career. Um, anyways, look, we have dialogue because it's just it's through our career through the insurance company. It's 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 just a part of the package. They they they're a cash a cash account. You pay out of your pocket, not a Medicare card system. Also, not available to the general public. But look at what they're IPOing between nine and twelve dollars. Imagine a company like Cloud MD. If and I pray when they get Quebec. Uh, Cloud MD is um, they're really smart. They're they're really what they've done. <clears throat> they've done it in perfect steps. They've done it in a perfect way. Step by step, small steps. That we could also say that in trading. You know, there's a there's one you know article um, article with one picture. You see like a guy trying to go up a ladder because he's trying to take big steps, but he can't reach the damn other step because he wants to just make these big plays. And you have this other one that's taking all these small steps. All right, and they go up to the same point. It's just the person that can take the small steps. He just does it one step at a time, but he gets up there. The one that's trying to take all the big steps either misses, fumbles, can't jump and reach. Cloud and D is a company that takes all these little small steps. They just build and build, but they have a, f a solid foundation, strong billing system. I mean, um, app IBM involved. Uh, their 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 app is seamless, streamlined. Of course, I'm not going to miss the opportunity. Like, how about if I'm in bed, I wake up tomorrow morning, Cloud MD opens up in Quebec. Are you kidding me? Thank God. You know, I can be overweight in the cruise industry and stuff like that. And if they go up to like, like if, if Carnival goes up to like $40, which it will, I'm not going to miss that. But at the same time, I'm not going to miss Cloud MD, you know, in Quebec, opening up in Quebec. Well, I'll still be in it because I'm playing a certain way. So that, like I always say, this channel here um, is, you know, like I always said, you know, it's it's that um, video you make like for, uh, oh, I just noticed that my comic books fell down. That sucks. Yeah, so my daughter wanted me to put uh, Hello Kitty over here for the video. So, and as I said, that makes me just say, it's the... Um, the videos that say like you know what if i'm not around anymore i want my kids to learn how to invest okay i just don't want to you know to my children like if you are watching this video it's because you know i'm not around anymore i don't want to do that it's morbid it's ugh, whatever i don't want to do that stuff i'd rather have a video like you know youtube videos like this and it's very important that if you know if you're married you know and why wouldn't you use your better half's tfsa account this is it's one household right use the tools that you have available maximize those tools you know what i mean so i mean naturally if if i'm overweight and let's just say i make 500k and my and uh, and then in my wife's account you know cloud and these there quebec opens up boom all of a sudden it's uplisting in in june and you're like, oh, wow, the stock just went up to like seven bucks. I'm just saying, okay, went up to five dollars, let's just say, okay, three. You know, I, it, you got Quebec, Alberta, you know, it's. Once I have Quebec, I'm not even worried, like, I'm not even thinking about Alberta. Not because I, I'm, I'm, I'm I, you know, it's like the whole Quebec, Alberta thing. I, no, I'm not worried because Alberta uses the whole common law system and everything. So if you're opening up, in Ontario, and you're opening up in Vancouver, you're opening up in Alberta. It's, it's you're opening up in the north. You know, it, it's using all the same common law system. And Quebec is it's just because everything's so regulated, so different. They use a Napoleonic Code, which is the uh, Civil Code of Quebec. So it's very, very different. It's very different. So you you have to understand, and you know, it's 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 you know, it's it's, it's got its own special status as well. It's very different, very different. So if they get into Quebec. 
Clan D is going through the roof. They're monopolizing the system in Canada. Look, no one has what Clan MD has. No one's got that seamless app that works perfectly that you can put in your Medicare card and your children's Medicare card inside there and it saves it all there one stop. You don't even have to pull it out and put it in there. The only thing you've got to do is just open up your app. Boom, boom, for your kid or yourself. You just pick, calls the doctor. You're on your phone, you're on an iPad, what the hell ever, you're on an iMac, everything works well. Who else has that? Maple doesn't have that. Maple, first of all, um, charges you, so it's not a Medicare card, and they have no footprint clinics. They refer you to other clinics. CloudMD has a full concierge system, which means that if your arm is pulled, if you're not feeling well, and you're always followed up, and you have an EMR system, it's not decentralized where you're sending people all over the place. It's a one-stop shop. They take care of you. You're not wondering where you have to go. What's the next step? It's not working that way. They're taking care of the whole situation. You know, listen, we're going to monitor you. You have your watch. So, you know, through the app system, that's your, you'll see the doctor. You know, you have CloudMD on demand. You know, once you're going to have all these things, I mean, and that doesn't include the fact they had an LOI with China that they that the Dr. Hamza put on hold. It doesn't, you know, Dr. Hamza rebought shares. Like, no one talks about that. You know, and, and, and like I said, when the cruise industry hits my outs, and the airlines hit my outs. Like, I'm going back to cash. A lot of people say, oh, that's so unintelligent or whatever. Well, because if you look at the macroeconomics, there's an article that I just put out on um, www.betweenplays.com. The latest article just came out like two days ago, okay, or yesterday. Um, like, look at the macroeconomics. Go look at my Twitter account. There's so much news that's come out in the last like 24 hours macroeconomic wise with the relationships with china and all this kind of stuff uh china north and iran as well and china. if you go look at the macroeconomics this is very important when you're playing the stock market you need to pay attention to stuff so if i'm going to cash maybe I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where this is going because if the debt happens and then this market goes all the way down um i'm going to be able to pick up a ton like a ton of shares of depends on whatever depends on what is actually going on if it's just a debt crash well it'll, it's going to correct itself with time well, i can go and buy myself maybe more cruise lines because carnival cruise lines is going to be huge in china in the asian market so everything depends but definitely i'm going to be going in also to CloudMD before the uplisting. Who, who isn't? Who isn't going to be starting to put money? Look, CloudMD was one of the most traded stocks, all right, as a venture stock. And it was traded like with companies with Apple and Tesla. It was like right up there, okay, as one of the most traded companies. So it's not that people forgot about CloudMD. CloudMD is not forgotten. I mean, there's there's a lot of things going on with CloudMD. I, I, I don't even have to bother looking at the charts. I don't have to bother. They're just acquiring. They're getting bigger. They have more run rate. They have more of more of more of more. So why is the stock going down? Well, don't forget. There's a lot of things in play and the market's being really hit really hard. And there's a lot of uncertainty. And when you have a lot of uncertainty, it just it just doesn't it it just doesn't work very well. But if people think that telehealth is going to go away, it's not. But it doesn't really mean that because telehealth doesn't go away, that people won't be in, uh, you know, like uh, people will like invest in the company or kind of stuff. I, I I don't believe so. I believe that CloudMD is going to be a company that people will be investing in. I really believe that Fortune 500 companies are going to be investing in it. I believe that they're going to be um, there's going to be clients and stuff like that. Fortune companies are going to be with CloudMD. The potential is so big; it's just so there that there's just no way that uh, CloudMD, in, in my mind, is gonna stay at these prices. These are these are bargain-based prices at the moment. Um, 
you know, to, to, to definitely to buy up or to lower your average or whatever. Do I see Cloud and D like right now at this market going to be twenty dollars? Not right now, not right now. Um, do I see them going to ten dollars by the end of the year? Yeah, it's possible. It's possible, but the market is really shaky right now, right? We're not we're not in last year's market. It's very shaky, very very shaky. Um, we're not very we're not hearing much. When it comes to the market with the um, Biden administration, because you you need confidence in the market, right? You don't need uncertainty. So naturally, you need a leader that comes out and says, you know, stuff like the market is going great. We are, you know, number one. Uh, you know, the you know, big speeches and the this and that, and there's nothing to worry about. The economy is great. We're growing. You need all this stuff, right? And then all of a sudden, you see the market's like oh, the market goes up. The volatility starts falling down, and all this kind of stuff we're not really there right now so you have to and that's why i said since the very beginning if you, if you go look and read uh, the articles in between plays.com since the very beginning you know i'm talking about this kind of stuff the macroeconomics diversifying your portfolio you know all this stuff is so important getting in getting out certain stocks naturally if you're you know you look at even you know big players right like warren buffett and stuff like that there's diversifying even to different markets like in the asian market china it's a lot of stuff that's going on. So, how do I how do I look at it? Well, I I honestly believe that CloudMD with time is going to be a massive company. Once they get Quebec, I really believe they will monopolize telehealth in Canada because they are using the Medicare card. And, and if and if honestly, if someone's out there going, what does that have to do with anything? Like really, blah blah, blah like that has to do a lot no canadians are going to be paying uh cash for a telehealth service if it's free all right I say free because it comes out of our tax dollars so it's not free it's like a, it's a socialistic system right that's what it is it's a socialistic system all right it comes out of our tax paying dollars in order to use a medicare card but you can swipe that baby five six seven eight times you know i mean people go for two three different you know, um, opinions from different doctors. You you can go swipe that card a hundred times a day. Doctors getting paid all over the place. So imagine when you have something like Cloud MD, where you can see a doctor for anything. You need a doctor's note. You need this. You need that. Now companies are using it. Like it's it's really it's 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 really a no brainer and. Now, Dr. Hamza is starting to come up. He's starting to talk again. There was an interview um, that he made uh, with uh, a YouTube. I don't remember the name of the, the YouTuber. Actually, it's on the uh, Cloud MD Stockholders Group. So, Cloud MD Stockholders Group. Here's um, uh, videos that uh, are posted. I don't remember if it's one or two with uh, Dr. Hamza, like new ones. And actually, um, uh, about a month and a half ago, two months ago, I was working on uh, getting a system up that I really like in order to um, do interviews with CEOs. And then, of course, um, you know, I had to halt that due to, um, you know, family, uh, what happened in the family. Um, and um, that's going to restart again. So I'm hoping to get uh, Dr. Hamza on here. Or Julia Becker, to me, it makes um, not that it makes no difference. I would, you know, uh, naturally, you know, no insult to anyone, but of course, it'd be great to have Dr. Hamza here, but of course, a representative of the company. Because don't forget, in the end, I don't invest in stocks. If I want to day trade, I'll go and look at a pattern and I'll use Sykes, Timothy Sykes' uh, strategies um, that I've learned by, by watching his strategies and i'll go and trade a stock i'll day trade a stock but when it comes to things like cloud md neolithium you know quest uh carnival cruise lines i am investing in a company so if there's a representative of the company that comes to speak about the company then of course to me that's just perfect that is just perfect so naturally everyone is invited for any company 
uh, representing the company, whatever, investor relations, um, extremely welcome. And I would love to have them on here to be able to talk to them. That'd be excellent and great because I'm investing in a company. I'm not investing in a stock and I'm not investing in one person. I'm investing in the whole global aspect of it. The CEO, the people in investor relations. I'm looking at the, you know, the, the, the structure of the company, foundation of the company. I'm looking at their balance sheets. You know, I'm looking at interna international relations. I'm looking at everything, right? I'm looking at everything, you know, so the diplomacy, I'm looking at everything. So naturally it's all great. So for cloud, honestly, for cloud MD, for myself, I am still very bullish when it comes to cloud MD, very bullish on cloud MD. So besides that, I can go into everything they've acquired. Um, but I don't know if that's exactly what you want to hear. You know, I'm not too sure that's what you want to hear. I think that what you want to hear is get Quebec, get Alberta and uplist. And in reality, I'm not worried about Alberta because if they say they're going to get Alberta, they are, they're going to get Alberta hundred percent. I'm worried about just the Quebec aspect. You get Quebec. <laughs> it's everything else is just done. It's solid 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 you know honestly if cloud md actually started in quebec cloud md started in quebec and then said well we're going to open up in the rest of canada i would have been like holy crap <laughs> they are going to get all of canada if they were like what they were in BC, in, in Quebec. So footprint clinics, you're using the Medicare card, the billing system, everything's the same. It's just that instead of starting with, it started in Quebec that way, and then they had to expand to the rest of Canada, it would be a no brainer. It would be like the simplest of all things. I I just wanna, I wanna see them get Quebec. You get Quebec, or you're in Quebec, with a billing system and the Medicare card, monopoly of canada there with their app and everything it's done it's it's game over the other all the other companies are going to be years behind three years behind you know look i don't care who, which one it is because maple doesn't have any of their own footprint clinics they're gonna have to do that they're gonna have to get the medicare card okay and whatever all right and then you have you know um uh, babylon same 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 old same old basically okay and um yeah so then you have like what you have well health they have footprint clinics in 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 bc they don't have um the they don't have an app that's functional um and uh i showed it to you last time over here so for for well health i had downloaded the app and um because I have them all, right? I have Babylon, everything. So here you go. That's Well Health. Still isn't open. So that's it for that. And it's not on uh, Google. It's not on um, Android. So basically, they don't have that. You you know you have to still gain all the footprint clinics in all the other places if you want to be a full concierge type system. If you want to be able to use the whole nine yards. So I mean. I'm really, really looking at uh, CloudMD like being way ahead of um, of their peers in Canada. So, especially with the Medicare card, and that and that app is just so seamless, so easy to use. It's it's just ridiculous. That's what you want. That's what you want. And a centralized service. You know, you want a centralized service. Um, look, two things. All right. Um, and actually, um, I, I had gotten injured uh, pretty bad back in the day. And um, it was a decentralized service. And if I wouldn't have been the type of character that is, um, you know, just go, 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 learn, 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 learn. Um, I don't know if uh, my injuries would have um, been like what they are now. Uh, I think they would have been still i think they would have been way worse uh way way worse uh, you know no one no doctors talking to each other not knowing what's the next step 
I was just picking up the phone. I was calling people. I was very aggressive, very aggressive. And um, basically, I was always asking for copies of my own stuff because they would have to get copies from another place and, and it would take a long time and whatever. But if I showed a copy, a lot of times what I can do is I can sort of bypass as they waited for the other copies to come in. So I'd have a copy, I'd, I'd give them a copy, and they would be like, okay, well, we can make the appointment, we can do this, we can do that, as we um, got an, another cop, you know, and we would wait for the one that come from their place. There, there was a lot of ways to bypass to get appointments because it wasn't a centralized service. With CloudMD, all that stuff, hopefully, and, and according to them, and according to what it is, all right, um, stated the full concierge service, this is what they're doing. They're doing what every other person's having a hard time doing. Going from one to another, psychological help, physical help, you know, um, you know, maybe MRIs within a short timeline and stuff like that. And, and talking like this is much simpler. You know, if you look at even, you know, you look at my nephew, you look at his situation, um, um, listen, um, my nephew was not an extrovert. He was an introvert. And um, I honestly believe that if he could have been speaking to someone um, on, um, like, let's say, like Cloud MD, like, because he had, it, let's say, he had it in Quebec, he's speaking to someone in Cloud MD, Medicare card, so it wouldn't cost him a single penny, because he didn't have money, really. So if he could have done that with his Medicare card, Maybe, you know, because he had some kind of stomach pains and whatever. Um, but he kept most of it all to himself. And he went to emergency rooms. And because of COVID, they would send him away, telling him, you know, you have a stomach ache or whatever. I, I honestly believe, not that, you know, that probably he would be still alive because we don't know exactly what happened in the end. We're all waiting for the autopsy reports on that. But... If he could have talked to someone being shy and introverted and because when he was alone at the hospitals, I don't know if he what he said, no one was allowed to go with him because of COVID. So did he communicate properly? Did he cause I definitely know he didn't feel comfortable being at the hospital alone when he's not comfortable in a restaurant even ordering a hamburger. So <laughs> I really think that if this kind of a service existed, that maybe he had more of a chance. I definitely know that he would have been able to communicate everything much easier. Because even if he didn't do it the first time, he would have done it the second time, the third time, the fourth time, because it's a Medicare card because he's in his room, because he feels comfortable. And he would have been able to express and explain himself. And I think the doctors that are doing this, I think they're more comfortable too. And I think that they can allow a little bit more time not being in an emergency room. You understand? Not being the one, two doctors only available for God knows for a whole hospital especially during pandemic. These people have more time to give to that person. And, <clears throat> you know, you're they're saying, okay, well, I'm going to want you to go to um, this, to, 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 to go to see our doctor in our footprint clinic. This, this is massive. Honestly, it's massive. It's, it's huge. It's uh, so massive that you can see like it's even affecting my eyes because it is. It's, it's, it's a huge thing. I really believe like telehealth is the future. It is the future 100%. And I think uh, like I honestly believe that he would have had more of a chance because in the end, we don't know what it is. We don't know. If it was cancer, we, we, have no, we have no idea. We're completely 
The autopsy has been made. There's a preliminary report. It's inconclusive at the moment. But um, I really, honestly, I really pray. I, I pray. And this is, this is higher than it just being a company now. It's just higher than it being a stock. I really pray that Dr. Hamza, all right, that Dr. Hamza gets footprint clinics in Quebec with his amazing app with the Medicare card. I pray that he gets that. If he gets the footprint clinics in Quebec, Medicare card with his app and everything, just the way it is in Ontario, in BC, because I know he'll get Alberta. I, I, I'm, I'm not worried he'll get all the other provinces. It's not, it's not. I pray that he gets it because he's going to be helping a lot of people. That company is going to be helping a lot of people, a lot of people. And um, with all that being said, now you know how strongly I feel about a company like CloudMD. Now, some people could say, okay, well, maybe it's an emotional thing now, and you know, and maybe it's not, you know. Well, no, not really, because before all of this happened, I knew what CloudMD was about. Like, I got injured many, many, many years ago. It took me many years to be able to, 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 to walk. Probably, like, I still can't jog. I can't, I can't jog. So forget about that. It's been taken away from my life. Uh, I can walk. I can walk distances and everything like that. Um, but certain th aspects, you know, have been taken away. I got to be careful because of my spine and stuff. I got, you know, I, I got to be very careful about certain things. But when I saw what CloudMD was offering with the Medicare card, telehealth footprint clinics, I was like, holy crap, let me do more research on this. And when I went and did the research, when the company was like 60 cents, <laughs> I injected a boatload of money into it. And I made a hell of a lot of money with CloudMD. And my wife is inside there. And I'm huge overweight on cruise lines and stuff because I am an investor. And this channel is for investing, is to learn, might teach my children how to invest. Naturally, if other people gain knowledge and insight on things, that's amazing and that's great. But I would never get out of CloudMD because this house, this family unit is one, not many, it's one. Of course, naturally, every person, like my wife has a career and she has her own individual life. We're not one person, but we are one unit. We are one working team. And every team is made up of individuals, but we're a team. So I would never get out of CloudMD if I didn't have my wife that has a TFSA account where we can put more money over there and I could be overweight on one thing over here. I would never have got out of CloudMD. Never, never in a million years. I would have a substantial amount in CloudMD. It's just because I could have a substantial amount in my wife's TFSA that she's playing for herself for the family. Like I'm overweight in cruise lines and in airlines for myself, for the family, because we're one team. So now you know how I feel about CloudMD. As an investor, I believe CloudMD is going to reach new heights in the future. Look at Amazon. When Amazon in the, in the, the, was, was higher but before 1999, and then the, the bubble bust, and then look at it for a while. It had, you know, it, was, it went down. It had, it went down to a certain low and all kind of stuff. And look at it today. Things take time. So it depends on what type of investor you want to be. Do you want to be a day trader? Do you want to be a swing trader? Or do you want to be a long-term, you know, Warren Buffett style trader? But even people like Warren Buffett and Ray Dalio and stuff, Sure, they have stocks that they, they've been in it like forever, like Coca-Cola, they've been holding on to Coca-Cola like, you know, forever. There are certain stocks that certain people just like are like, well, whatever, you know. And, you know, they you know they bought it at such a long time ago and it was so dirt cheap and, they're, you know, companies are offering dividends. Why would you get out? Like, makes no sense. 
You understand? You got to look at why you wouldn't get out of certain companies. Well, if you're offering dividends and you got like, you know, hundreds of thousands of shares or what the hell ever, because you bought it like way back when, and this is what it is now. But think about if CloudMD does that. Think about that. So you gotta real, you gotta um, you know put yourself in what kind of investor do I want to be? Because nothing has changed with CloudMD. If anything, everything's better. Everything's better, and when they nail Quebec, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an amazing ride, and just imagine uplisting to the TSX.to and then uplisting to Nasdaqs. Then imagine even further. You're going to say international relations. Forget about that. Imagine offering dividends <laughs> just in Canada based off of the Medicare card system, off of a socialistic system. Look, so many freaking different things. Why wouldn't you think that CloudMD is not going to be something big? The reason why I, I don't think the other ones right now are in this place is just because of the fact they don't have this app. It's so seamless, it's so easy. The Medicare card, everything's so, it's just, you know, on demand, virtual uh, a virtual waiting room. <laughs> this is, it's insane. You can do appointments, uh, you know, you, uh, you have to renew prescriptions, you have to do this, uh, you have to speak to a psychologist, a doctor, an oncologist, but it doesn't matter. It's all there. Your EMR is all in one place, you know, medical, me medical records. Nothing has changed. This company is just bigger and getting bigger and getting bigger. So, nail Quebec, nail Quebec, get Alberta, uplist, keep this boat rolling, keep the boat rolling, all right? So, that's it for me, guys. I am bullish on CloudMD. I'm bullish on CloudMD. Naturally, for CloudMD, I'm not taking it as a day trade. I'm not taking it as a swing trade. I'm looking at it as a long-term investment. That's what it is. If anything, I'll just be buying up more stocks, more stocks, more stocks. And, you know, and it's just like any other company. I remember when Coca-Cola ended up in China. I can't even imagine when, when McDonald's or Al, you know, Coca-Cola went into like China. Uh, if you were a shareholder of Coca-Cola and then all of a sudden you're like, it's going into China and India, you'd be jumping for joy. You'd be like, holy crap, it actually happened. You know, actually, because you think that it was like a hundred percent. No. And it's, it's the same thing, right? With, uh, with cloud MD, you're in it before it actually happens. It's the best place to be. Okay, everybody. So there you go. I am completely bullish on cloud MD. Uh, the between plays, uh, hoodies are out naturally, you know, you got the whole, uh, I don't know if you see that over here. Research, prepare, plan, execute, stay strong, whole nine yards. Um, it's a hundred dollars plus tax, naturally in shipping. Um, it's the first ones, like I said, I'm gonna be looking for suppliers and stuff, and it's gonna reduce the prices down. V next, we're gonna have coffee cups, the whole nine yards. Everything's coming out slowly. If you want the best way to uh, order a shirt, uh, a hoodie, I already have some people that ordered some hoodies. Uh, it's at uh, btwn place, so between plays at gmail. Um, dot com. That's the uh, the email address where you know we'll, we'll communicate with each other and then finalize everything to get it out there. And of course, naturally, it's in the description below. So please, everybody, just remember uh, to research, prepare, plan, execute, right, and stay strong. Stay strong, everyone. Hello to everyone out there. Just taking two seconds of your time and asking you to hit the subscribe and the like button. I'd like to also direct you to betweenplays.com, www.betweenplays.com, where we put up many different articles. We have three different writers at the moment, and we're trying to up the uh, authors. And um, go to our Twitter account for like really quick uh, information at betweenplays1, and um, we'll be able to uh, get people to you know pre-market information and whatever comes along that. You know, it's important to uh, macroeconomics, microeconomics. As we say here, our motto, research, prepare, plan, execute. Uh, always do your due diligence and um, stay strong, everybody. Stay strong. <laughs>